make a ride. I'm gonna set the club, baby. Make okay, so in order to remove your radiator, first thing you want to do, obviously, with every radiator, is drain the coolant. So down there at the bottom, I've got my pan ready to drain it. You see that bung right there? I'm gonna pull that, pull these hoses off, uh, the bottle and everything. I think I'm just gonna pull it all off with it and then just drop everything back in at the same time. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And at the same time, I'm gonna put the uh, other fan clutch back in because I don't want the electrical fan right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is move the cap so you have proper airflow through it to the system when you're draining it. The next thing is gonna be the bung down here. Ooh, oh yeah. Grab the green one. Okay, so now that while it's draining out the water that's in it, Go ahead and remove this clamp. I'm gonna remove both hoses just to get all the spaces that I can. Yeah, that's just pure water in there. That's crazy. Okay, so we got the low radiator hose off, the clip for the uh, coolant level sensor off, uh, and then the upper radiator hose off, still dripping a little bit, so we're just leaving the pans down there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the reservoir bottle off and there's a line down here that goes all the way to the side over here. So what we're gonna do is pull that straight through and then pull the fan and everything else out with it. Okay, so got the fan shut out. Um, it's held in on this side by clips and the other clip on that side. Uh, this hose down here uh fishes through the fan trial so pull that out and i also took off the electrical fan so now all we have to do is remove my bad all we have to do is remove this clip right here and that one over there and then we'll pull the radiator out Okay, so it's been about a week now since I started this radiator change. Uh, I had to get new grommets for here, new grommets for here, and also the bushings and stuff that held the radiator in. So now I just flushed out the radiator because it had only water in it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the hoses and uh, go ahead and fill it up with coolant. So. Easiest way to do it while installing the rest of the radiator, I got the wrong clips for this also, is do the hose under here first. John broke this, so if you're watching, you suck. Uh, then clip this one on, the hose is down there, right there, runs all the way through, and comes to the bottom of the uh, reservoir tank. So let me go ahead and finish this up real quick. Okay, so radiator is completely done. Got all of my uh, clamps on down here. 
all the clamps are on. Uh, so, and filter up with coolant. So now all I need to do is fix one of the leaks that I found, which was this sensor right here is leaking. Uh, it's an old sensor, so I'm not surprised. I'm gonna change that out, and then that'll be it. So, if you guys like the video, uh, drop a like, subscribe, comment, catch you in the next video. Peace.